Happy Halloween, everybody! Do you know what the scariest topic for a movie is? High School! <laughs> Monster High is an American multimedia-supported fashion doll franchise created by toy designer Garnet Sander and launched by Mattel in 2010. At least according to Wikipedia. I'm actually not the most familiar with this franchise. I watched a couple of Monster High specials a long while back, but I don't really remember too much about each one. So I guess the movie of today's video will help reintroduce me to this exciting and spooky world. This is Monster High the Movie. Claudine Wolf is a 15-year-old girl who also happens to be a half-human, half-werewolf. Which I guess makes her three-fourths human and one-fourth wolf? Claudine is having a good time skating, until the humans see her for the freak that she is. Yes, I get terrified too when I see someone wearing a werewolf costume. These people are very much overreacting. That's my key. So Claudine wants to go to Monster High, thinking she'll fit in better there than she does in the human realm. Her dad is a little hesitant at first, because, you know, monsters hate humans and want them all to die, but he eventually agrees. One thing that surprised me right off the bat was that this movie is actually a musical. As far as I know, Nickelodeon movies don't really do musicals all that often. At least not as much as Disney Channel. I am still very much glad that this one is a musical though, cause... Let's face it, it's probably gonna be a drag to get through. And we need something to keep it engaging. I mean, uh, this movie's gonna be amazing! After arriving at Monster High, Claudine meets her new roommate, Frankie Stein. They are both socially inept and incredibly smart serving as a great exposition dump. And that amazing brain of yours, have you ever heard of monsters randomly changing? <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe into something crazy like a uh, human? I know all about it. It only happens to part monsters. As they get older, usually during adolescence, their true nature starts to appear when they experience fear or anger. The fight or flight response can temporarily transform them into human form. She also meets her other roommate, Draculaura who has a very expectant father, and is initially hostile towards them, but lightens up after she gets to share her habit of witchcraft with them. Oh yeah, and witchcraft is banned from the school, apparently? You'd think that'd be a monstery sort of thing, but apparently it's a human habit? The real monsters were humans all along! Okay, I get it. So Claudine is afraid of the head mistress finding out that she's half-human and making her leave Monster High. So she tries to find an elusive potion her teacher tells her about that would fully transform her into a monster. Speaking of this teacher, the movie places an unusual amount of importance on him, showing him in multiple scenes where he doesn't really do that much yet. I wonder what that could mean. Our trio then find a map that leads to a graveyard, that leads to a hand-activated door, that leads to a secret lab where, as the story goes, a half-monster, half-human man named Hyde experimented to try and find a cure for his humanness. That was a long sentence. <laughs> but he was actually expelled, and then killed, before he could take the potion. The trio can't open the door, so Draculaura must make another potion that would open it for them. But they need to perform a fetch quest of ingredients first, because if they didn't, then this movie would be too short. Not like I'm itching for this to take any longer than it needs to, but okay. Nothing that happens here is really important. It's pretty much just filler. So, while we're waiting for them to complete that, I think it's about time I talk about some of the side characters. There's Cleo, an Egyptian queen mummy monster, who is just randomly mean towards Claudine for some reason. Aww, who's this lost little doggy with her purple claws? Let's go before she gives us mange. And Deuce, a former troublemaker turned obligatory male love interest. He also has Medusa-like powers. Despite the movie placing much emphasis on his desire to be a better person, we don't really see how he used to act, so the impact is kind of lost. Okay, back to the main story. Draculaura's potion fails, then she gets punished for using magic, then the school starts crumbling and Claudine thinks the school is angry that she's not a pure monster, so she runs away. Man, just a ton of unfortunate events back to back. So Claudine then goes back to the skate park because this movie doesn't have the budget to find another place in the human realm for Claudine to be. This actually bothers me a lot more than I think it should. <laughs> Draculaura and Frankie find Claudine way too easily, and then Claudine falls on the ground and sees her human handprint, and realizes that she could open the door with it. Oh yeah, did I forget to say that Claudine turns into a human when she's scared? So Claudine comes back to the monster realm after just leaving, and opens the door. But after all of that, she hesitates in taking the potion because she doesn't want to erase her father or something. 
Hey look, it's totally not at all shady teacher guy. I'm part human too. Really? Yes, and, and giving up who you are? This isn't the answer. I know a better way. Well, sounds legit. Psych! He just wanted to use the potion for himself to turn himself full monster so that he could get revenge on the monsters and humans who killed his dad, Hi. You know, the half-human, half-monster guy from earlier. So the now-revealed Hi Jr. Ugh, this design is so ugly. Can now steal powers? For some reason? What even is he supposed to be? Is he just the devil? How did you guys not see his villainy coming? So he steals Draculaura and Deuce's powers, and then he turns Deuce to stone! No, no. At least I finally got to stare into your eyes. No. Oh no, not Deuce. I, I really cared about him when he did the thing in that scene. You know? Claudine then turns fully human out of fear and anger, and then she, I kid you not, uses an iPhone to show the evil teacher his reflection so that he turns to stone. Think of it as extra credit. <laughs> Seriously, that was the quickest villain defeat in any movie ever. This guy shows up for like five minutes and then just dies. Then everyone else's powers gets restored and Deuce comes back to life. What was the point of his dramatic death if he was just gonna... Never mind. In the end, the headmistress actually lets Claudine stay at Monster High because she's pure of monster heart, or something. And everyone sings a happy song. But then, there's a sinister voice that looks through a crystal ball at Draculaura, and apparently wants to use her magic skills to bring down all the vampires. We are already sequel baiting, aren't we? Because when you have a popular IP, you don't need your individual movies to be good. All you need is lore. So that was Monster High the movie. I was right about the songs being the best part, and even then, the only one I really remembered was the first one. I'm just upset that such an interesting concept was boiled down to a typical high school movie that is only setting up a franchise. But everyone's probably saying that about this movie, so I probably don't need to reiterate that. Everything's a bit too straightforward in this movie. There's not a lot of world building. Oh, and also, make the villain a little bit more interesting, or at least a little less obvious, or at the very least, make him look not like that. Also, I feel like Deuce's character was heavily underutilized. Actually, most of the characters felt underutilized. And what even was Cleo's character? In the end, this film just kinda seemed like a worse version of Zombies. Which was already a worse version of Descendants. Like, Disney Channel original movies are not fine cinema by any means. But man, Nick movies are just on a whole other level of bad. So, would I recommend you watch Monster High the movie? Absolutely, 100%. Everyone should watch this masterpiece. In fact, I'm gonna go watch this movie 20 more times right now.